What's going on everyone? I am the Kilty Cajun. Welcome back to my channel and in this latest episode of Here We Go Again we have some information about the recent re recently released Forspoken and this individual David Scott Jaffe? Jaffe? Whatever his name is. Original God of War director David Scott Jaff says widespread panning of Forspoken driven by quote a-holes who clearly don't like women, black people, or PlayStation. In this article from Bounding into Comics, thank you for putting this in a more coherent, concise, singular location. <clears throat> I had seen some clips on Forspoken with the dialogue, and it is... It's... I don't know what they were... I don't know what what they were trying to accomplish with this voice actress who this is her voice her first voice acting job uh what they were trying to accomplish with the dialogue and the banter back and forth between the main character and her bracelets but it's just i don't know it's like a i guess i could compare it to a 12 year old just getting to or actually you know a college student writing a paper and gets to write the word fuck over and over again and of course this genius <laughs> the idea that oh if you don't like something it's because of misogyny or racism or some moronic console war bullshit <clears throat> but in this article in his latest embarrassing attempt at signaling his virtue to his fellow adherents of critical identity theory original god of war director david scott whatever has declared that he will be buying Square Enix's widely panned for Spoken solely out of spite. Well, that kind of sounds familiar, really, because there's a lot of uh, a lot of fans out there, or a lot of non-fans out there, who are buying multiple copies of Hogwarts Legacy strictly out of spite. So, hey, if, I mean, if you're going to point the finger at one point, at both of them. Towards the a-holes who clearly don't like women, black people, or PlayStation that he believes are responsible for the game's poor reputation. No... What's responsible for the game's poor reputation from the numerous articles and videos and comments that I've seen is the piss poor dialogue, the frame drops, the locked at 30 frames per second, the outrageous um, system requirements for the game, and just uh, mediocre gameplay. Isn't that a face not even a mother could love? <sighs> Released by Square Enix on January 24th, Forspoken centers on the story of Frey, a young New York City native who is a criminal. Upon being transported to the magical world of Athea and discovering that she possesses the ability to wield magic, must team up with a sentient cuff to free, for, to free her new surroundings from the oppressive rule of a group known as the Tantas in order to find her way home. Isn't that cute? Yeah, the dialogue's bad. There's some of it in here. Despite being developed by a team behind Final Fantasy XV and featuring a, a story penned by Gary Witta, Rogue One, Star Wars Story, cool, Amy Henning, Uncharted Series. Hey, wait a minute. I've heard about her. Uncharted Series. I heard she was pretty good. What happened? I wonder if it was a... Uh, oh, Shadowhunters. And Todd... Oh, there's a bunch of names. Star Wars Project. Forspoken has managed to miss the mark by nearly every metric. And it's not just regular players who have been taken aback by the game's 7th console generation level graphics. Yeah. Oh, well. Unsatisfactory comic and, quote, Marvel Cinematic Universe on several different steroids style of dialogue as even legacy media reviewers couldn't delude themselves into enjoying the game's ironically detached personality. So let's see what this one is. Mr. Matty Plays, I present to you actual footage from Forspoken. Destruction and corruption are forms of creation in themselves. Wow, you sound like a serial killer. What? Destruction and corruption are beautiful forms of creation in themselves. I don't sound like that. You absolutely sound like that. No, no, you absolutely sound like that. Yeah, see? Two can play at that game. You're fucking stupid. See, I don't know about how I feel about the dialogues. It's 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 not moron. I mean, moronic, lazy. I would use the term lazy, 
at one point we got to get those fucking birds out of the sky like I mean, it's just i don't know lazy forgettable apparently there is actually an option in the game where you can turn down the amount of dialogue that should tell you something i mean whoops per review aggregator Metacritic, uh, the PlayStation 5 release of Forspoken currently holds an average score of 68. Ooh, 66 reviews? That's not much. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't seem too bad. Quote, ooh, who's this? Forbes Eric Kane. Quote, it's not fun, it's not engaging, it looks terrible. Yep, sorry to bust your bubble, but a 68 out of 100 Metacritic score feels too high. Ooh, that's kind of nasty. What else we got? Offering his two cents to the situation after taking notice of the negative comments, negative attention the game was receiving. Oh, so he didn't even play the game before he started running his mouth about it. Hmm. I'll get to the point of me doing this video in just a moment. I have no strong opinion on Forspoken. Eh, neither do I. Played the game, played the demo, enjoyed it, but not looking to drop seventy bucks on it. Okay. Well. Yeah. Anyway, the pile-on has me thinking of this and how I've gotten older. I've realized there is no bad creative output. Wait, what? The pile-on ha the pile-on has me thinking of this and how I've gotten and how I've gotten older. I've realized there is no bad creative output. Yes. What the hell are you talking about? There is no bad creative output. Okay. No, there is bad creative output. There's bad delivery. There's bad performance. There's when jokes don't stick the landing, when the dialogue seems nonsensical. You. What the hell happened to you? Oh. After encountering further negative criticism of Forspoken, and ostensibly realizing that his somewhat favorable read of the game was an unpopular opinion, ah, he tried to take... Oh, okay. Began to take the discourse personally. Well, yeah. <laughs> what does he say here? I'm inches from pulling the trigger on for spoken at $70. Part of it is the good stuff I'm hearing from people who are playing it. Uh, okay. And the fact that I did enjoy the, gamma, the demo. The other part is I want to buy it to spite the assholes who clearly don't like women, black people, or PlayStation. And here we go. My reason for bringing up this bullshit. I'm seven minutes in. I can curse if I want to. I'm not monetized yet. Anyway, this reaction to negative criticism is it seems to be the norm nowadays. Someone doesn't, they don't like the dialogue. Oh, that's because the main character is a black woman. No, it's not. It's because the dialogue is shit. They don't like the dialogue. You don't like the frame rate? Oh, it's because you're a bigot. Even though the frame rate's capped at 60, at 30, sorry, good lord. Frame rate's capped at 30, and on some PCs and some consoles, you're lucky if you hit 30. Nope, it's because you're a bigot. bigot. You don't want a woman as the main character. You don't want a black woman, especially not a black woman, oh heaven forbid. Oh, and it's got to be the console wars. The console wars are moronic at best. Oh, to be clear, the tropes, of, oh, the tropes about black folks and Forspoken are shit plus. Our shit. Plus, they were called out over a year ago and Square did nothing, which is their right, of course. But I'm talking about the people who are being dicks for no clear reason. Well, you didn't... That's not what you did. You came out and criticized people and it, it accused them of being a bigot, a racist, because they didn't like the game. This knee-jerk reaction to defend something, first of all, that you didn't even play. You simply want to come out, I mean, did you need your name in the media again? I guess you believe that there's no such thing as bad press. Except this makes you look like a fool. It will always make you look like a fool. The consumers are, the customers, if don't use consumers, the customers are getting tired of this crap. Legitimate customers. You start running your mouth like this, they're not going to be interested in your next project. They're not going to be interested in your next show. If you're an actor or an actress. If you're a producer, they're just going to not watch your show. He tries to... Failing to win over anyone with his doubling down. Because, you know, he's an idiot. Jeff would attempt to further 
disingenuously distanced himself from his initial rhetoric by turning his nose upward and asserting, learn to read human beings. Learn to read human beings? I said, one of the reasons I'm buying for Spoken is to spite people for whom them being racist, misogynist console wars are motivating factors in slamming it. Um, well, if you believe that people are panning it and giving you negative reviews for those reasons, then perhaps you could produce some receipts. I doubt you have. You just want to run your mouth and virtue signal to make yourself look good for the Twitter crowd. When you need to realize, wake up, more and more publishers need to wake up and realize that the Twitter, I've said this before and I'll say it again, Twitter is not the real world. Many people have said it. Many people are waking up to it. Twitter isn't real. It is a small percentage of a microcosm of the general public around the world yeah. that have an opinion. They don't matter. I'm sorry. Twitter users don't matter, regardless of what side of the fence you're on. They don't matter. They're not going to affect actual profits in the long term. The more these companies realize that the only thing they do, the only thing they can do is get the corporations to fear them. And unfortunately, them being the squeaky wheels, they scream from the rafters. And too many times the corporations have come out and bent the knee. And it's, it's, it's getting old. It is truly, truly getting old. If you want evidence of that, just look at the numbers for Hogwarts Legacy. Game's coming out in a couple of weeks. I'm definitely looking forward to it. A lot of people are looking forward to it. All you see right now on Twitter with Hogwarts Legacy is how purchasing it makes you a transphobe. It hurts the movement. It does bad to this. All because J.K. Rowling is associated with the Hogwarts universe. Why? Because she created it, of course. But, oh, God, if you buy the game, you're just a istophobe. And you have so many people, it's a bit childish. Sure, they're buying the game out of spite, to spite them. I think the game would have been popular nonetheless, but for so many people to come out and try to boycott the game, to voice their opinion, which is fine. Everyone has the right to voice their opinion of it. But when you start insulting people for buying a video game, um, you're going to fail. Gamers are weird. We're, um, they don't follow the trends. They jump on a hype train, blinded by the hype train and the bells and whistles and everything, Gen always forgetting this, the crap that they went through before it. I had to deal with Anthem. I dealt with the beginning of No Man's Sky, the dumpster fire that that was. Cyberpunk 2077, that was a dumpster fire of shit. Uh, I was severely disappointed in Callisto Protocol. Unfortunately, it's too late. I couldn't get a refund that. I was definitely disappointed in that. Did I learn anything from those experiences? Of course not, because I fall for the hype train. It is my own, I take accountability for that, I fall for it, it is what it is. That's not the reason why I bought Hogwarts Legacy. I bought it because I'm a fan of the universe, I want to see where the game goes, and it just looks beautiful. Uh, I hope I'm not burned again on this one. But to try and boycott a game because you have an opinion, or someone else's opinion, the creator's opinion, the publisher, or whatever, you don't like what they think, and you try to boycott a video game, the only thing you're going to accomplish is a Streisand effect where more and more people are going to buy it just to spite you. That's just how it is. And for this idiot to come out here and follow this bullshit narrative that the only reason you're speaking out against Forspoken is because women, black people, PlayStation, console wars, bullshit, it's getting old, it's getting tiresome, and he deserves to be shit on, for lack of a better term. But the dialogue option, the dialogue I've seen from Forspoken is nothing to be, nothing to write home about as far as I'm concerned. I've heard different opinions on the gameplay, so I don't know. I was never interested in the game before, no intention of buying it. 
I just find it interesting that the reaction of someone like this is typical. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Leave a like if you so choose. Leave a dislike if you so choose. I appreciate you making it this far. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope to see you on the next one. Have a good night, everybody.